Vicky! You called me? Oh, yeah. I I'm running late and your father's going to be home any minute. Please give this room a good cleaning as quickly as possible. As quickly as possible? <laughs> I'm finished cleaning. Wow, you can say that again. I also do windows. Hi, Anne. Well, place looks terrific. Oh, it was nothing. Wow, you can say that again. <laughs> Mom, Dad, come here quick. Come here quick. Those three words always cost me money. Remember that fantastic $160 bike you said you couldn't afford? Yeah. Well, I could afford it. I got a good deal because it's used. You see, I gave this kid Ernie $10 down, and I've got a whole week to come up with the other hundred. <laughs> Jamie, why do you always act first and then think later? Hmm? I mean, how do you plan on coming up with the money when you have no job, no income, and no savings? I have a plan. We're not going to bail you out this time. There goes my plan. <laughs> Don't I have an inheritance I could get in advance? Well, you, yeah, but you've got one problem. I don't plan on going anywhere in advance. <laughs> Gee, boy, have I got something to show you. Harriet, I've seen everything you've got, and I'm not interested. <laughs> but you haven't seen this. I took this computer gaming test in this magazine. And guess what? We're a perfect match. Harriet. And we don't even have to date. We can go right to the altar. <laughs> hey, you just gave me a great idea, Harriet. Really? Should I start picking out furniture? <laughs> no, I mean your magazine solved my money problem. I'm gonna start a computer dating service for the kids in my class at school. Well, it sure worked for us. It's true, love. <laughs> I can't wait till we're married and I can make your life miserable. <laughs> Hello, Jamie's dating service. Don't sit at home and vegetate. For five bucks, I'll find your perfect mate. <laughs> ah, hi, Roy. Oh, hold on. Vicky, have we found a match for Roy Baxter yet? Stand by, please. <laughs> Got it, Roy. Your perfect match is Carol Aronson. You'll get her phone number when I get my five bucks. <laughs> Vicki, finish putting the applications into your computer, okay? Okay. Oh, hi, Herbert. Hi, Jamie. What can I do for you? Well, I heard about your computer dating service, and I was thinking that maybe... Well, I mean, it's silly, but... Oh, never mind. It's a terrible idea. Oh, wait, Herbert. What's the matter? I was dumb to think I could get a date. I never had one before. Why not? Well, I'm poor. I don't have any nice clothes. I wear glasses. I don't even have any friends because I'm boring. <laughs> Herbert, you don't need a matchmaker. You need a miracle. <laughs> yeah, you're right. See ya. Wait, Herbert. I was kidding. I'm sure I can find you a girl, and I only charge five dollars. Huh. <laughs> what can I get for a dollar eighty-three? <laughs> if you're lucky, a stray dog to lick your face. <laughs> Look, keep your money for the date. What kind of girl do you like? A blonde bombshell. <laughs> sort of a Marilyn Monroe in my size. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What are you doing? Oh, I'm filling out one of Jamie's computer dating questionnaires. I thought 
thought it'd be fun to see how compatible you and I are. <laughs> Honey, that is so silly. Let's compare answers. <laughs> you filled one out, too. Yeah, I hope you're worth five bucks. <laughs> What's this? You'd rather go out with friends than spend the evening alone with me? I meant occasionally. I'd like to spend an evening out with the girls. See how compatible we are? I like to spend an occasional evening out with the girls, too. <laughs> I'm finished cleaning the windows. <laughs> Thanks, Vicky. Next time I'll keep my mouth shut. <laughs> hey, I got an idea. Why don't we put our answers into our little computer here and see what comes out, huh? Vicky, scan these questionnaires and compute the answers for me, okay? Okay. They are computed. And who is my perfect match? Your perfect match. And my perfect match is Cynthia Williams. <laughs> Cynthia Williams? Who's Cynthia Williams? Age 13, height 4 foot 7, has braces on her teeth, and they call her metal mouth. <laughs> Well, she sounds like my type. <laughs> Dad, how old do you have to be to declare bankruptcy? What's the problem? Well, it's just that everyone I matched up with my computer dating service hated each other. <laughs> I had to give them their money back. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Now, come on, Jamie, you're a smart fella. I'm sure you'll come up with another way to pay for your bike. Oh, no, that's Ernie, the kid I owe the hundred dollars to. What are you going to say to him? Mm, I might try the Lord's Prayer. <laughs> Ernie, old buddy, old pal, I was just talking about you. <laughs> put it there. No, put it here. <laughs> Where's my money? Hey, relax, old buddy, old pal. Life shouldn't be all business. <laughs> and you wouldn't want life to be all pain either. <laughs> now, where's my money? Hey, listen, I'm willing to give you your bike back. No questions asked. Yeah, well, I got a question for you. Ever had a pair of handlebars shoved up your nose? <laughs> Is that with or without the handbrakes? <laughs> you better have that money for me by tomorrow. Or else. Or else you'll repossess the bike? <laughs> no, I'll repossess your face. <laughs> Ernie, I'm not trying to get out of paying you the hundred dollars I owe you. I just can't do it by tomorrow. Well, if you don't, the bike won't do you any good. Why not? Because you won't be able to ride it without kneecaps. <laughs> an idea. What if I found you a date with my computer dating service? What, you expect me to settle for a date instead of a hundred bucks? <laughs> no, no. I'll pay you the money, too. The date will just keep you happy until I can raise the money. Keep talking. <laughs> I'm not talking any date. I mean the girl of your dreams. <laughs> the one that makes you wake up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat. <laughs> I'm talking 12-year-old centerfold material. <laughs> yeah, well, in that case, I'll tell you what kind of babe I want. She should be just like me. You know what I mean? Yeah, tough and stupid. <laughs> right. <laughs> no problem, Ernie. It shouldn't take me more than a few weeks to find her. How long? A few days. <laughs> Tomorrow, four o'clock. That was my next suggestion. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. I'm busy, Harriet. Go away. <laughs> Unless, of course, you want to subscribe to my computer dating service. <laughs> yeah, I thought it over. In case you don't work out, I better get myself a backup to Hempack. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, just answer these questions. Uh, do you consider your personality to be warm, carefree, or shy? 
I'd say I'm cheerfully pushy. <laughs> you prefer a date who is somewhat rich, very rich, or extremely rich? Is there a filthy rich in there? <laughs> Harriet, I think the only date for you is that monster, Ernie. You wouldn't do that to me, would you? I wouldn't do it to Ernie. <laughs> oh, poor Jamie. He's really having a problem with that kid, Ernie. Yeah, well, let's stay out of it, honey. He's got to learn to be responsible for his own actions. Yeah, you're right. It's too bad about his computer dating not working out. I think it's a cute idea. I mean, that's only a gimmick. I mean, that's just for kids. Nothing can take the place of two people meeting the old-fashioned way like we did in college. At a panty raid. Yeah. Did I ever give yours back? Yeah. <laughs> Honey, you know why we're so compatible? Hmm. It's because we don't let those little things that bother other couples bother us. You're absolutely right. What little things? <laughs> well, you know, those little teeny things that you do that bother me. I mean, <laughs> they're so unimportant. I, I mean, I can't even think of one. I got one. Well, that didn't take too long. Well, honey, it's so silly. I mean, it's hardly worth mentioning, you know. <laughs> Mention it. Well, okay. Okay, it bothers me, just a little teeny baby bit. <laughs> that uh, at least once a week you turn our bathroom into a steaming jungle of pantyhose. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, now you tell me something that I do that bothers you. Eh? Well, <laughs> like you said, I mean, they're just so unimportant that I can't even think of one. Got one. <laughs> well, you see, honey, that didn't take long at all. Okay, what is it? Well, uh, when you eat spaghetti, you're supposed to twirl it on your fork, not suck it up off your plate. <laughs> okay, so I'm a spaghetti sucker. <laughs> but I don't squeeze the toothpaste from the wrong end. Oh, big deal. A million people do that. A million people don't do it in my bathroom. <laughs> and I also don't like to step into the bathtub and then sit on a hair curler. <laughs> No, but I bet it sure curled your hair. <laughs> oh, true. true. Okay. Why are we fighting? I know, honey. I mean, oh. this is silly. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a kiss. Uh, later. <laughs> when? When I say goodnight and tuck you in on the sofa tonight. Oh, oh wait a minute. Come on, Joni. Hey, come on. Come on. Hiya, Ernie, old buddy, old pal. Cam the bull, Lawson. It's my date here. Uh, yeah, she's getting ready. She wanted to look her best for a heavy dude like you. Come on in. <laughs> they better be right. Oh, don't worry. I made sure she's just what you asked for. A female you. <laughs> Come on in. Ernie, meet Ernestine. <laughs> Hiya, sleazeball. <laughs> hey, you're my kind of woman. <laughs> Give me five. Give you five. <laughs> Think she likes me. <laughs> uh -huh, I'll be right back. Why don't you two love birds arm wrestle? <laughs> Hi, Jamie. Herbert, what are you doing here? Well, I was just wondering if you found my little Marilyn Monroe yet. No, not yet. Listen, I'm real busy. Could you come back some other time? No. What's the point? I knew you were just trying to be nice to me. I'm a real loser. I'm nothing. I'm useless. No, you're not. Yeah, I'm just a stinkweed in the garden of love. <laughs> Wait, stinkweed. I mean... I mean, Herbert. Listen, as long as you're here, there just happens to be a girl coming over right now. The more I think about it,
decided she just might be your perfect match. Really? Uh, yeah, come on in. Listen, why don't you go to my room and wait for her? End of the hall on the right. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Jamie. You're the greatest. Yeah. <sighs> Man, that's five times in a row. Come on, give me another chance. Another chance. Ready? Go. <laughs> <sighs> I gotta tell you, Lawson, this chick could get lucky and win me over. I told you so, Ernie, but I need her for a minute. Come on, Ernestine. We'll be right back. Hi. Is she here? Do I look okay? No, don't tell me. Relax, Herbert. She'll be crazy about you. Trust me. Come on in, Marilyn. Here's your blonde bombshell, Herbert. <laughs> Hi, Herbert. How you doing? Oh, wow. You like her, Herbert? I'll say. She fogged up my glasses. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's enough for now, Marilyn. Don't want to burn out his batteries. It's okay. Burn them, burn them. <laughs> See you later, handsome. <laughs> oh, there you are. Now look, honey. <laughs> What's she doing in those clothes? And who are you? I'm Herbert. Who are you? I'm Ernie. I'm leaving. <laughs> All right, Lawson, what's he doing here? She's my date. <laughs> I'm burning out his batteries. Listen, Wimp, she's mine, and no little twerf is going to come between us. Right, Jamie? <laughs> <laughs> well, under the conditions, I'd have to say... She's Herbert's date. What? Well, he needs one more than you do. All right, wise guy, what side of your face do you want your nose moved to? <laughs> and as for you, hi <laughs> It's only fair to warn you, these hands are registered with the police department. Also, one of my feet. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> okay, okay, don't get your shorts in an uproar. <laughs> but you still owe me that money for the bike. Herbert, are you really a karate expert? No, I couldn't break a marshmallow with a hammer. <laughs> I guess I was just trying to show off for my little Marilyn. You're my kind of wimpy twerp. <laughs> Well, I guess it's time you go now, Herbert. Yeah, and thanks, Jamie. It's been the best day I ever had. Bye, Marilyn. Bye, handsome. <sighs> Bye. You've been swell. You're real pretty, Marilyn. Bye. <laughs> Who was that? Uh, just another satisfied customer. <laughs> Why is Vicky wearing my things? I'm a blonde bombshell. <laughs> cool it, Vicky. She was helping me with my dating service. I thought you said it was a disaster. I said it was a failure. Now it's a disaster. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to raise the money for that bike. Well, you lucked out. Your father decided to loan you the money so that you can pay for it. You did? Ah, thanks, Dad. What changed your mind? Because you're so generous? <laughs> well, no, because you uh, left it in the driveway and I ran over it with the car. <laughs> uh, Vicky, go change your clothes. You look ridiculous.
I'll go slip into something more comfortable. She's a small wonder, brings love. 